Hello everyone and welcome to this playwright tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn to handle the nested iframes. So let's begin. In our previous tutorial, we learned that how we can handle the iframes and it's pretty much easy because in playwright, we have frame locator to locate the frame. Okay. So this was our previous tutorial where we located the frame using page.frame locator. This is a locator of the frame and then this is a locator of the element. That's how we actually handled the iframe. Okay. Now let's look into the nested iframes and let's go to the browser here and here we will be using the same internet Heroku app here and again we need to go to the frames here click on this one and then nested frames and here you see that there are different sections here now nested frames are basically this is a frame within the frame if we talk about this layout basically let me open a paint here and let me explain you so what happens here is that they have one complete html here and inside this html like in our previous tutorial we learned that this is html and inside that what they did is that they simply created the sections using the iframes and they have created mainly two sections here and inside these they have created for the sections so created one two and three so three sections are created here and this is our first set of frames and this is our second set of frames so basically here when you have to use the multiple frames or frame within a frame okay in that case you need to use frame frame set so frame set is basically a collection of collection of iframes okay and then so basically if we go here so if we talk about this particular frame so here if we talk about html itself so it would be like the frame set and frame set will be closing frame set and inside that we have basically the iframes so iframe one then iframe iframe two okay and so on so if i go to the uh, website itself and if i now inspect this one so you will uh, find the similar thing here so basically if you go here you see that this is a frame set and it is covering all the upper portion here okay this is the frame set okay and this frame set is covering up this whole upper part right and this frame set is closing here okay now if i close this one frame set frame set okay then frame set has these two frames this is one top one and this is the bottom one okay and inside this top one if you see that the whole whole row is highlighted this means that it contains all the three so if i click on this one you will find that we have if i go here so this document click on this one here again you will see that this is a frame set and inside a frame set we have a frame one then two and three so as soon as i hover on the frames you will see that it is highlighting on the screen now we need to handle this thing because uh, for example you are you have to locate this middle one right so you have to traverse from parent to child parent child child parent so in order to work with the internal element inside that iframe okay now um, let me go to the visual studio code here and let me create one file here i'm naming it as nested iframe.spec.js and let me copy the code from our previous tutorial let me paste it here and handling nested iframe and we need to change the url so this is the url let me copy this one from here and let me go back here and provide the url here okay so first thing is that we need to traverse here okay let me save this one and let me remove all this line of code from here okay 
So in our previous tutorial, uh, just like I, I just shared with you that, so using the frame locator, we can locate the frame easily in the playwright, right? So first we will do is that we will locate the main frame and then after that we will go to the child frame and here so first thing is that locating the top frame okay and so simply what i'll do is that i will create one variable here and i will name it as main or the top frame then await await page dot frame locator okay and we need to provide the locator of the top one so basically if i go here and i will inspect this whole one so if i go back here so yeah this one and we go to the selector sub so you see that uh, this is the frame x path and the frame name equals to the top frame right and we can also create our own x path from here because i am seeing that the name is available for this frame okay so if i need to create my own x path so that's really simple here uh in single quotes we need then brackets name is equals to so the name is basically frame top frame dash top okay and now once you are in the main frame this means that if we go back here this means that the whole upper part okay and now what i'll do is that simply i need to go to the inner parts inner iframes so again, for each iframe, I'll create a variable here. Let's suppose left frame is equals to await now main frame. Okay. Then inside the main frame, we have another frame. So that's why main frame dot frame located parent child. Okay. And now we need to give a locator of the child one so i believe the names would be in a similar way let me go here and let me check the frame so this is a frame so name is frame dash left so simply if i go back here and here inside this one brackets name is equals to frame dash left okay now we are inside this particular frame that's that's really easy okay once you are inside this particular iframe what you need to do is that you need so for example for this tutorial let me uh, you know log the text so that we can see either we are traversing it properly or not so dot locator and we know that in iframes we have a body so body dot text context because we need a text and then what we will lose that simply console dot log and inside this one we will actually be logging this one so let me copy this one and paste it here and that's it so let me save this one and now let's run this one so npx play write test minus g name of the test handling iframes and handling iframes and we will be running it in a edit mode so let's run this one and see what happens so it should log a value here and it should print a left here so it's executing right now and let's see what happens 
so our tests pass successfully and you see that the left is printed here in the console okay and now if you have worked with the selenium so in selenium what you need to do is that you need to traverse back to the parent then go to the different things okay and now because we are in the main frame here so we can easily traverse to the other frames in a similar way so let me copy this whole of line from here and paste it here and now i'm naming it as middle frame and now it should be a frame dash middle okay and here i need to pass this one and let me save this one and now uh, let's run this again and see what happens so this time left and middle should be printing so simply you need to locate the parent iframe then using the parent iframe you will be going into its child iframe okay so that's the strategy and that's really simple here okay here you see that it's printed both left middle and our test is also passed here and in a similar way uh, what i'll do is that simply if i copy this one and paste it here and i believe this would be a right frame let me copy this one and paste it here and this should be right and save this one and now let's run this one and see what happens so it should open the side it should print left then middle then right this is a text inside the body of the iframe okay so it will print all these three so we go here and so you see that left middle right and our test is passed so let me summarize this one for you so that you can understand so let me go to the paint here again and so you have a parent iframe okay so in order to locate the parent i iframe what you need to do is that you need to simply use frame locator to locate the frame okay and what we did is that we saved this in a variable so we call it as like parent frame and the parent frame is basically saved in this particular variable okay const equals to uh, const and const the name of the frame is equals to this okay so that, that's what we did in our script so we identified the parent frame using the frame locator and we saved this into a variable called here i'm saying it as a parent frame but an example i call it as a main frame okay now if i go back here so inside this one what i did is that using the parent frame parent frame then dot i identified the child frame or the sub i frame okay so here what i did is this parent frame dot basically then again i used frame locator to locate the child okay and here i give the locator of child iframe okay and that's how we reached to the from parent to child and again if i go to the script here so simply uh, let me show you so so using this page dot frame locator we look at in the top frame top frame is basically this one it contains all these left right middle okay then i have saved this into a variable called main frame okay and then using a main frame again i need to go to an other frame which is inside this one 
So main frame dot frame locator to locate a frame inside a iframe. Okay. And then inside this particular iframe, I was locating a body and body has a text this one. So if I go to the HTML here, so basically if I go here, so if I go here, so frame set, then frame and document HTML frame set. You see that this is a frame set and this is a middle one. And if I go here, then we have a frame left right okay and you see that inside the every frame you will see a body right so inside a body tag inside a body tag this is left is written okay so simply that's why after reaching to this particular look uh, i frame i located the body and from body what i did is that i extracted the text using a text content method okay and then i was printing this one using a console.log okay in the similar way i went to the other child iframes using the parent then from the parent i was moving towards the middle one then the same way from the parent i was moving towards the main frame to the right frame okay and then i was logging so that we can see that we are actually into that particular iframe. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you like our content, then do like, comment, share and subscribe our channel. Once again, thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial.